Dreams can make you cry. Dreams can make you laugh. You guys, the smell of spring is so amazing. It reminds me of my birthday. It's awesome. I love it. Anyway. Hello everyone, it's Lilac Dreams. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing something really fun. I'm going to be creating a mini fantasy map for my series, The Last Pegasus. So basically I'm going to be using um, techniques that a lot of people use to make fantasy maps, except I'm going to be making it to use a... To <laughs> except I'm going to be using it to make a map of for... Wow, I cannot talk today. Except I'm going to be using it to make a map for my My Little Pony fantasy series, The Last Pegasus. And yeah, it should be pretty fun. Don't do this if you're young because it has fire and danger. I have a draft right here. So the world of The Last Pegasus is called Alvora. And here is my draft. So if you look... There's quite a few names um, of places. Most of these names were made up. I used some name generators, and then basically I would like use a D and D name generator, and then I would remove some letters, add some letters, and that's what I would use. And then I asked you guys for some suggestions. So if you suggested a name and you see it on here, that's probably where it comes from. But a lot of these was like, okay, well, here is a name randomizer. Let's pick a random fantasy name. We'll take some letters out. We'll move some letters around. And that's how we get a name. And then you guys can see the dark wood here. And then over here, there is Stone Grove. Today, I don't know how much of this I'm actually going to get done. I want to get the paper made, which is my main focus today. Okay, I've got several options here. I've got four options for the main map. I've got two that I crumpled and two that I kept flat. I don't know what'll look better, crumpled or flat, which is why I made two of each. That way I can kind of see how everything looks. Also, if you see this in my hand, it's, it's just a tree, you know? It's what happens when you're boarding class. Anyway, so I've got two here that are crumpled, two here that are not. And then my scrolls, I crumpled those. The main reason I was wondering, well, maybe it'll look better not crumpled is because I don't know how easily I'll be able to write on something that is crumpled. So that's why I did it that way. Also, I know people are probably gonna say, well, why don't you just draw the map on it before you crumpled it? And um, the main reason is because the ink that I would use is water-based. And my next step, I need to pour coffee all over these and the ink would not only run, but then also there's the problem of when I burn the map, there's the possibility that I could just burn the whole thing, um, which would suck, obviously, but it would be even worse if I already had stuff written on it. So that's why I didn't do it that way. Well, the next step, like I said, is to make some coffee and paint it on these to make them look older. I'm also going to sprinkle coffee grounds on it to give it some texture and just hopefully it'll look really cool.
Okay, so here is the situation that I'm in. My hands are so sticky. Like, I didn't know coffee was sticky, but apparently it is. Instant coffee, specifically, is very sticky. Anyway, here is everything. Um, this is not part of a map. There's some scrolls randomly on here. They're kind of messy right now, but those I just did randomly. Here are the maps. I think my favorite so far is probably this one. The wrinkled, like the crinkled up ones, crinkled, crunched. I don't know the word. These ones, these two, they did flatten out when they got wet in a good way. Like they're still, you, they still have the texture, but they're flat enough that I think I could write on them. These two aren't bad, but I don't think I'm going to use them for this necessarily. I might cut them up and make scrolls out of them or something. Anyway, yeah, here are these. I'm going to let them dry and edit my footage because I'm currently completely out of storage. <laughs> and wash my hands. So here are my four pieces of paper. I think my favorite one is this one. So I think this is probably the one I'm going to do the map on. I'm still going to use these for something. I just don't know what. The scrolls, I'm not going to burn the scrolls. I might rip the edges though. I don't know, like, what I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start by burning like this one or this one. And then try burning this one, because this is my least favorite one. So I'll probably burn this one first, and then if it works, I'll burn this one. But I don't know for sure if I'm going to burn anything. So, we're going to see how this goes. Absolutely no idea how I'm going to properly film this. So I might not. <laughs> Let's burn some paper. Yeah. Okay, so it burned, but it won't burn outside because it's too windy right now. So, and also, the lighter is almost empty. So I think what I'm going to do is just go forward and do all the drawing and stuff on it. Like I said, I didn't want to do. And then later decide maybe I'll fail burn it. Because this is what the burned one looks like. I like it, but also I don't like it enough to burn paper in the house. I'm not stupid. So <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and start the drawing on this and then decide if I want to burn it later because I don't want to set anything on fire. Back in my library and I'm going to show you what I have so I decided for sure I'm going to be painting the map on this one. I did have to do some touch-ups, so it's drying right now because it had some issues. But this is how big the map is going to be. Like, it's going to be a big map. And that's kind of the point. I want it to be like a, you know, those pirate maps in movies and they're huge. Yeah, that's the idea of this. It's, it's going to be a huge map. And then the scrolls, I'm going to roll them up and turn them into scrolls. So that's what we're going to go do now. So it has been an exceptionally long time since I started this project. I think it's been about a month since the last thing I recorded. Basically, I've been procrastinating because I was scared to make the symbols on the map, and also I was having a hard time tracing this over to this. And then I made this. So what this is, is this is a key um, of basically all the symbols I'm going to be using. I made this after I watched this video on the screen. We're just going to see how it goes. I'm going to do it with pencil first and then go over it with pen. Um, I also want to try burning the paper again, so that's what I'm actually going to go do next to see if I can burn this paper. Look at that. So we have a bit of a problem. So I tried to light it on, like, burn the edges, and instead of burning the edges, it made this. I don't know why that happened. And also, I can't get the lighter to start again. It and this is what we have. It's just, like, this weird shape. I wanted to do it around the whole edge because I'm like, okay, well, even if this part is a little weird, maybe I can get a, the effect around the rest of the map. But it wouldn't it wouldn't light. Come up with a solution. I just cut all this off. Um, I did originally, I don't know if you guys remember, but I made this a little bit bigger than the map originally. Anyway, the rough draft. So now they are just the same size because I cut off this edge and then I cut off one of the sides. So yeah, this is what we have. I, it's still big enough. It's still going to work. I'm going to have to move this body of water right here down a little bit in order to fit the proportions and still have room to write everything. But yeah, um, burning it was a fail. It didn't work. I tried multiple times. It just didn't work. I think what I might do is just outline it with black, the edge with black marker to kind of give it like an older look. But yeah, burning it, it just, it didn't work.
here is what I have so far. I think that I am not going to do the houses. I have sketched houses with pencil multiple times um, on here in various places, and it just, it's not looking how I want it to. Um, all of these names are obviously towns, and I've been trying to add houses to make them look better, but it's just not working. I don't know. And I'm really worried that once I put the pen over it, because of the names, and the houses need to be underneath them. When I put the pen over it, it's they're not going to be visible. So I don't think that I'm going to put the houses on there. And I thought about doing it with pencil too, but it might be overwhelming because there are so many towns on here. I think it might get to be too much. I'm going to look at some other maps like in books and things like that and see what they do for houses and then decide. Uh, but I have some final details to do, and then I will do the grand reveal. Here's the final map. I did take some of the scrolls and roll them up. I'm not super happy with them, but they exist, so, you know, they're there. Um, I'm really happy with how the map turned out. It turned out even better than I thought it would. I love it so much. Make sure to let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like on it and maybe subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone! I'm sorry to interrupt your beautiful montage, but my window's open and there are farmers outside doing farmery things with the field next to our house, and I can hear them arguing, and it's so funny, but also kind of concerning. Interrupting your montage again, I just heard one of them say, well, it hasn't blown up yet.